Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, we're going to be reviewing everything we've talked about when it comes to sorting in Python. You can get this code if you'd like by going up to GitHub slash Caleb Curry in my Python repo and going into the Python or Python programming subfolder and then grabbing sorting. So this is the file that we're going to be going through. So the very first thing is I show you the default sort using the sort method. When you do this, it modifies the original list and does it alphabetically in the case of strings. So F is gonna come first, and then M, then S, and then we have two T's, so the next character is considered H comes first. We do the same thing with numbers, so we make a list of numbers, and then what we do is we sort the numbers and print them, and you can see it goes from this completely random order to from least to greatest right here. If you wanna sort, but you don't wanna mess up the originals, you can do it with a copy. So the easiest way to do this is to use the sorted function, pass in the list you want to sort, and you can print it or assign it to another variable such as numbers sorted here, and then go ahead and print it. So we print the original as well as the new to show that both are accessible. I also show a light variation where you can actually just pass in a list to sorted and assign it to a variable. So if you have some data and you just need to sort it real quick, you don't have to put it to a variable first, you can just pass in the list to the sorted function. There you go. Next is to sort in reverse. The most obvious way is to just sort the data and then invoke the reverse method and that will reverse the actual data so you can print it then and see that the data is now reversed. However, another option is to pass reverse equals true to the sorted function, and in that case, we get the same exact result. So either one works. I prefer this. I think it's more concise and easier to read. Next up, we talk about case insensitive sorts, and it also introduces this key parameter. So you can put any function here that's going to modify the data. In this case, it would lowercase the data, but the interesting thing here is the actual data doesn't get changed. It just does that for the comparisons. So the original list data stays the same, but it's sorted as if everything is lowercase. So we get the A's up front together. Next up, we sort by string length, and you can use the len function for that. In that situation, the single characters come first, and then we have the long string at the end, hello. Next up, we talked about lexicographical sorting, and in that situation, we are going to sort numbers as if they are strings by converting them to strings for the comparison and in that situation, we're gonna get an output like here. And then the last thing I showed was how to do numerical sorting with stuff that is not numbers, but everything in here needs to be convertible to a number. So only Booleans or expressions that evaluate to a Boolean or strings that have numbers in them. That's all that's allowed. And then we use float for the key. And that'll give us this output here. As a reminder, false is considered zero. That's why false comes here. And true is considered one, which is why it shows up here. So that is just your quick review. Make sure you understand everything in this sorting section because we're going to be talking about basic IO in the next video and that should be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. Hope you are as well and I'll see you then.